Today we're talking about personal loans and the best practices to ensure that you achieve success and have a high look likelihood of it being a useful endeavor for you rather than taking out a personal loan from one of those solicited letters you get in the mail and it just wrecking you financially. So stay tuned and we're gonna make sure you're taken care of. All right, best practices for success with a personal loan. And this is gonna be a shorter video, uh, but one of them is cleaning up your credit score, right? So you should make sure that before you're applying for a credit, a personal loan, you have good credit because, because that's how banks and, and lenders look at whether or not to give you a personal loan. And the if you do get a loan with really bad credit, your interest rate is gonna be excessively high for the institution to, you know, balance their risk with loaning to somebody with bad credit. So make sure you work on your credit score and make sure it's uh, in a spot where it makes sense to borrow money and for someone to lend you money. Okay, definitely shop lenders. So there's a couple different websites where you can go and you can apply for a personal loan and then they'll tell you like five or 10 different lenders that you can go through. Uh, they're pretty convenient. I'm sure they take their cut, but uh, that's what I did the first time. And so the first loan I got, uh, which I mentioned in another video is uh, was fifty thousand dollars, ten year repayment period, and some high interest um, for a flip. And I used Lightstream, and they were fine. They did what they needed to do. Uh, the second one I got when I refinanced out of the Lightstream one into a uh, actually higher interest payment, but much shorter pay down period, so that my overall interest on the uh, personal loan would be a lot lower, was through American Express. So that was Amex, um, and they've been really good to work with as well. And that loan will be paid off here. Uh, pretty quickly as you know we're making progress with everything else so um, you know that'll be good um, but definitely shop around a little bit and see kind of what rates are out there what terms are out there and make sure that it makes the most sense for you to utilize that company yeah next up you're definitely gonna want to make additional payments if possible because it's it is a normal like amortized type of loan so you know your interest payments will be a lot higher in the in the beginning than your principal payments and so you're gonna want to you know, any, anytime you make a payment in advance, that's one less interest payment that you have to make. Or if you're making multiple payments, then you're gonna be able to, uh, you know, just pay that loan down faster and pay off less interest. So if you can afford to pay off a little bit more and get out of that debt quickly, then I would say definitely do it. Definitely don't bite off more than you can chew. I have seen personal loans eat people alive. So let's say you're consolidating two credit cards, but then you're like, wow, I can consolidate these two credit cards and I can get an extra $5,000 to pay off whatever, but then you take the $5,000 and you, you know, buy, I don't know, 50 PS5s or whatever, like just something stupid. Uh, and you're paying interest on that for a long time and it's not helping you in any way, shape or form. So definitely just make sure that you are not biting off more than you can chew and you're staying within your means. A personal loan is a tool, but it is a tool that can work for you, but it can also be uh, detrimental, right? So you just need to make sure you're using it for the right thing. And something that I've said in most of these personal loan videos is you want to you want to use those loans in a situation where it will help you financially. So if you're gonna use a personal loan to renovate a primary residence or help flip a house, but you know that you're gonna be profitable at the end of the day and you're gonna be able to pay it off, that's great. If you can use it to consolidate debt in a way that actually like you can show on paper saves you money month over month or in interest in total payments or, or whatever, and it makes sense financially when you compare the two, then that's good. But definitely don't recommend using a personal loan just to use a personal loan and get some extra cash, right? That's not the right way to go about it. Save for that thing, save for that item, and then you know pay for it rather than taking the personal loan and, and adding to your expenses, right? So, all right, and then finally, uh, make sure you understand the APR and that you can actually afford the, the payments, right? So you actually wanna be able to you know, there's truth in lending acts out there, so you have to actually, like they have to articulate exactly what your payments, exactly what your interest, exactly what your total interest paid over the entire duration of the loan is. And you wanna make sure you look at all of those things when you're comparing these to make sure that you're choosing the best overall loan product for you. And uh, there's a lot of stuff out there, so just make sure that you're doing your due diligence and choosing the right one out there for you. Um, 
and understanding those rates and terms and fees because everything, you know, with like creative financing or any other kind of financing, if you, if you shorten the term, your payment goes up. If you lengthen the term, your payment goes down, but your interest over the duration goes up. You know, interest goes up, interest goes down. There's a lot of different variables. Uh, so just make sure that you understand that and you're getting the best deal for yourself. So these are just some simple best practices for personal loans. You know, I hope they help. I can, I can give you some specific examples and show you guys like how to apply for a personal loan if you want, but um, you know, they're not super complex, but I'm happy to help. If that's something you think would be of value, just throw it in the comments and let me know. And then if you got something out of this, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel where we help you as a service member or a vet learn how to build wealth through real estate and personal finances. Have a great day.